Tēnā, ko Mr. Speaker, kia ora tātou katoa, te whare, ko taku pātai he pātai ki te minitama o ngā take ture. Ka whakai te kāwana tanga ki te tū tohu tanga i te pūrongo o te komiti o te whakakotahi tanga o ngā iwi o te ao e ki nei, the state party should consider relin relinquishing the use of electromuscular disruption device, EMDS, tasers, ki te kore, he hai. The Honourable Simon Power. Mr Speaker, no. Tasers are an important tool to ensure the safety of police officers and the public, particularly since New Zealand is one of only six countries in the OECD that does not routinely arm its police force, and the government has no plans to relinquish their use. I'm confident that the procedures and processes in place are sufficient to meet uh, any concerns. Te ororo of level. Ki te minita, heha te whakautu a te kāwanatanga ki ngā āwangawanga o te komiti whakatika tangata o te kotahi tanga o te ao. Point of order, I, the Honourable Simon Power, I suspect... <laughs> I suspect the problem is there's no translate, no uh, interpretation. Uh, let me just see if we can sort that out instantaneously. Otherwise, I may have to ask the Honourable Member... Uh, sadly, the speaker cannot uh, translate, uh, much to my regret. Uh, let me just check, is there any way we can check why the, trans the interpretation is not coming through? Could I ask the honourable member if he just starts the question again and if it doesn't come through, I'd have to ask him to, I, I regret to do to, I hope he doesn't, uh, isn't offended by my having to ask him to ask his question in English if we can't get the interpretation. Ask him to say, uh, start again if he wouldn't mind. Kei te pai, Mr Speaker. <laughs> Ka pai. <laughs> Ko taku pātai uh, ki te minita, heha te whakautu a te kāwanatanga ki ngā āwangawanga o te komiti whakatika tangata o te kotahitanga o te ao e pāna ki te noho tārewa o ngā kēhi tainua, tainua ki te tau rua mano te kaumātahi mō te hunga ko Hāmenetia e te Operation 8 a heaha hoki tāna ki te tū tohinga O te komiti, kia kaua e waiho i ngā kēhi nei, kia tārewa mo te wāroa. The Speaker, the matter the member ref... The matter the member refers to is currently before the courts and it's not appropriate for me to comment um, at this time other than to say that those arrested during Operation 8 are being accorded all their fair trial rights. This is one of the matters uh, in respect of which the United Nations Human Rights Committee has asked for an update from the government uh, in one year's time. Someone please call Te Roro of level. Ki te minita, heha, heha te whakautu o te kāwanatanga ki tā te ripoata o te komiti e kia nei me kaha aro atu te kāwanatanga o Aotearoa ki te whakakore i ngā mahi aukati i te iwi Māori i roto i te whakatinana tanga o te ture. Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Speaker, I don't accept the assumption that there is an institutional uh, discrimination against Māori in the administration uh, of justice. However, the over-representation of Māori in the criminal justice system is a particular concern of this government. The government's identified four priority areas uh, to reduce offending and re-offending. One of those is alcohol. The others include uh, antenatal uh, and maternity treatment and uh, the other is uh, programs to address behavioural problems in young children. Again, this is one of the matters in respect of which the committee um, in New York has asked for an update in 12 months' time. Question number... Point of order. Point of order, Keith Locke. Uh, I seek leave to table the final report of the UN Human Rights Committee in which the criticisms of government policy on... to table accept. that document. Is there any objection? There's no objection. Question number 10, Charles Chevelle. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.